we've got um, we've got Istra Bettini joining us, and she's coming in all the way from Indonesia. She's an, a lecturer and director at. Now let me see if I get this right. Um, Yoga Kata Midwifery Academy, with the responsibility for academic planning, research and development, curriculum and strategic learning. She's also been a midwife at a private midwifery clinic where she was a supervisor of midwifery services. She's developed um, an interesting interest in natural approaches to midwifery care and midwife education after studying her diploma three and in midwifery, diploma four in midwife teaching and masters of public health. History is focused on midwife care and capacity building. She's conducted extensive research over the years in a whole range of things, including attitude and behaviours of midwives to um, breastfeeding and promoting infant formula, um, patterns of breastfeeding, medical error in childbirth by new graduates, and family approaches as a met as um, family approach as a method in community with midwifery practice. Um, and recently she's just finished a study um, about partnerships between midwives and family planning boards. And today she's joining us to talk about instilling ambition to study midwifery in teams. And I'll hand it over to you now. I, I might just take us through those first few slides before Istri starts, if that's all right, Istri. Uh, Oh, <laughs> it's, it's just to remind people um, how, how to use the facility here and acknowledge the help that we have from these organisations. Um, if anyone needs to go through the audio setup wizard uh, just to make sure their technology is working fine, you'll find that up under the meetings tab. Um, and most of you have been here before and you'll know how to use the chat window, so please feel free to make comments and keep them relevant to the presentation if you don't mind. Um, you can also use that icon that you can see at the very top of your screen um, to make some gestures or short um, bits of feedback. Um, please be aware that we will be analysing this, um, the chat in the window for research purposes. We won't be using anybody's names, we're just interested in how you use that facility um, in a conference. Um, if you do get a chance to speak at the end when um, we'll have some opportunity for questions, you do need to um, activate the microphone by pressing on the icon, but first putting up your hand so we know that you want to speak and then we'll hand the microphone to you, but you need to press on the microphone to make it green so that it will be activated. Um, sometimes your volume is a little low and Trish yours was a little low then, so you can um, we can adjust the microphone uh, if you're not hearing, so please let us know. So the session is now being recorded. And over to you, Mystery. Okay. Okay, thank you, Deb and Tris. Um, hello, everybody. Let me introduce myself. My name is Istri Bartini from Yogyakarta Midwifery Academy in Indonesia. Uh, today is a special moment and I would like to say Happy International Day of Midwife 2016. We're proud to be a midwife and you know, let's talk about midwife. Now I will share our experience about how to instill ambitions to study midwifery in teams. First of all, um, let me show you our position now. Here we are. I'm sure most of you have a now in Indonesia. And we study at Yogyakarta province small province in central Java. And as we know that Indonesia have a huge number of midwives. Data from Indonesian Midwife Association show that midwifery workforce are uh, 353,000 and three midwives. And the ratio is uh, 49.56 uh, per 100,000 people. And, uh, 
we have more than 700 between free student program. So many people say that Indonesian now is surplus of good wife. This condition lets us to think about the opportunities and the challenges. As we know that the key stage of the International Day of Midwife 2030 is the more and the word need midwife now and more than ever. And the last Australia in 2014 uh, articulated that midwifery matter more than ever. And then in 2015, WHO stated that midwife is a vital player role in decreasing maternal mortality rate, which is 44% uh, since uh, 1995 to 2015, MMR is the It is a good change for midwife. And for Indonesia, we have had a chance to increase both in quantity and quality of midwife. But Something interesting to discuss is that in our country, most teens doesn't have an ambition to be a midwife. Despite interest to study midwifery sharp increase in three years later. Even when we were child and when we was young, if there is a question, what is your ambition or what will you become in the future? The most answer is to be a doctor. Some uh, children maybe say to be a teacher or to be a, an engineer. No sound midwife here. No sound that they want to be midwife. So without that training uh, for little midwife or little community midwife is an initiative to introduce who is a midwife and build patient to study midwifery. And the other hand, we face a problem that exclusive breastfeeding program only 52.3% implemented. So we try to involve women, families, and communities in the design and deliver quality maternal and newborn care. Um, this study attempts to show the advantage of little community midwife training in both the purpose to styling ambition as a midwife and uh, empowerment in enhancing exclusive breastfeeding. And let's have a look to what we have done. It is a simple project. We working with our students. We have a community laboratories. It is a small village with, uh, which use a practice midwifery in community setting for students. And in this village, many teens who potentially to be encouraged to take a part in health promotion activities. And in 2014, community midwifery field practice by students has found data that exclusive breastfeeding in this village or Giririjo village is just 32%, even mother not working outside. The reason is lack of information and support from other to do exclusive breastfeeding. This, this problem is inspired lecturer and students to create a program to empower the community with a little community midwife or little midwife. At the beginning, we do an advocacy. Some approaches to village government have done. And fortunately, the leader of this village is a woman. She's very interested and gives strong support to our project. I think it's a great season that we meet the woman leader it is easy to share vision and it is easy to uh, make a commitment. I think if um, midwife is uh, 
have a position in a decision maker like she, like uh, her, maybe it become too easy to enhance maternal and child health. Um, the effort of uh, the effort uh, another effort of is uh, have a meeting and disseminated the project to health care group. The main purpose is to empower the community in their health. And little community midwife is a part of community that will contribute for health program at the village. The next step is uh, training. Little community midwife training held in October 2014, and then we continue in, uh, on March 2015 and October 2015. We invite uh, 33 teams for, from seven villages, from seven villages, and all of them are girls. Um, they are nine up to 12 years old. And we uh, prepare the material. Uh, there are a healthy pregnancy and exclusive breastfeeding. And the training activities, we do some activities um, that we give a theory class in two day force and then we continue to workshop for two days and uh, we continue to sympathetic action and then uh, the last week uh, do a competition and evaluation Here, the picture of class of theory. The material are about healthy pregnancy and exclusive breastfeeding. And uh, the theory uh, provided by midwifery students, our midwifery students. Um, we do a class theory two hours in every afternoon. And uh, our students uh, use the methods uh, like lecturer and sometimes they do with the games. The class theory is uh, to know the improvement of knowledge. So at the beginning, little community midwife training uh, was doing a pretest. After they finish the theory, little community midwives have a reflect the information in their class theory into a creative handmade. And little community midwives have three days to finish handmade. And their handmade was used as a media to promote exclusive breastfeeding. You can see in the picture uh, some activities that uh, the little midwife uh, makes a creation uh, to make a media to promote the exclusive breastfeeding. And uh, then breast experience is the sympathetic promotion to pregnant women. The LCM to fight in uh, 11 group, in uh, day three teams per group, and they visit pregnant women in their village to promote exclusive breastfeeding with the media they meet. When they visit um, mother, the mother, um, student midwife assist the little midwife during activity. Then a pregnant woman give a star sticker, sticker to appreciate the LCM. And at the end of activities, we have to know the effectiveness of the project and to endorse the LCM. So we make a competition and evaluations. Ospes has done to evaluate their knowledge. And then the winner selected from the highest point in post test and most number of star tickers they got. 
in a, an independent view has done to seven little community midwife and also for uh, five pregnant women. This is um, the picture uh, that we documented in our activity. And the score in pre and post test analysis with the PIT test and the data showed a statistically significant difference between the mean pre and post test uh, with the p value 0 0.00. And Explanatory building for qualitative data report that teens or little midwives have positive interpretation for midwife. You can see uh, what they say in the yellow writing. And um, pregnant woman also give an appreciation that uh, a sympathetic with Creative handmade by a little bit wife became a fun reminder to prepare exclusive breastfeeding. And this study emphasized that learning midwife free by practicing is an effective method. What little midwife done with mother is a valuable learning experience. And I think that a deep impression in it when they were thin, come up like this subconscious mind. They will remember for their future. It might be influenced to make decision making steady midway free. Mm. Tend to get the patience. It's very important. And from this study, patience to study midway free will be found when someone do a midway free practice. Study 2015 by C. Botan et al. said that as students progress through the program growing commitment and interest in midwifery and stronger sense of vocational direction strengthened their de determination to complete what I have started. And at 2010 also said that a decision to be a midwife sometime in spite after someone meet pregnant woman and begin to think about the amazing of the process of pregnancy and creating creations of a whole, a whole person. Or maybe come up uh, become she always because she always uh, love a baby. Other study for that effective practice for children, women, and infants is health education and peer support to promote breastfeeding initiations. And I agree with uh, Professor Caroline uh, uh, writing in 2015 that in area where are insufficient of midwives, other providers with a midwifery skill can be can provide some or many of and the effective interventions. Um, so uh, the conclusion is that a little community, community midwife uh, built an ambition and patience to become a midwife. It's very important, particularly for a teacher, or for faculty, or for um, midwife itself. And this initiative should be continuously held to strengthen midwife and community empowerment, particularly in exclusive breastfeeding program. And this is uh, the reference that I uh, have um, read to support this study. And I think it's enough. Um, again, I uh, would like to thank you for the committee uh, for IDM conference, and I hope we'll continue participate in the next year. And thank you for all participants uh, and trees and depths. Many thank you, and again. Happy International Day of Midwife 2016.
Oh, thank you so much. That was so wonderful. Um, has anybody got any questions or comments that they'd like to put into the chat box or um, would like to jump on the microphone? Pop your hand up. Um, so, okay. So we've got um, Tesla saying here, it's a very interesting program. I love and um, loved an experience like this when I was younger. Beautiful. And um, Deborah's asking, um, what are some of the barriers to girls becoming a midwife in Indonesia? Um, I think uh, for girls becoming a midwife in Indonesia, some barrier is. I think it's policy because uh, you know um, in Indonesia people uh, is uh, prefer to get the uh, high educations and unfortunately in Indonesia um, we doesn't have a or although we have a lot of um, midwifery school in diploma midwifery, but um, there is a very very little, a very very, um, I think just two university that held um, this large degree of midwifery. So uh, people uh, now think that they have to continue education, and uh, unfortunately the government uh, is not really now. So it's yeah, largely a policy policy level. Um, we've got some more questions just coming through now. Oh, so yeah, a big thank you from Deborah. Um, has anybody else got any any questions for these three? Um, you can jump on the microphone as well, or pop it in the chat box. I, I was just going to make a comment and I wondered um, what people in other countries think about what are the draw cards for young people to um, be midwives and I know, I don't know if it was popular in Indonesia but the television program called The Midwife um, is a TV program, a fiction about midwifery in the 40s and 50s and um, I think that's been very influential um, in highlighting the role of midwives, even though it's different now. But um, so I'm, yeah, I'm interested in other people in the audience. What do, what do they think of the uh, things that are attractive for younger people about being midwives? Um, I think that um, it is true that now in technology, information is uh, give up a lot information about midwife, and they can access. Uh, everywhere and anywhere. But, um, you know, uh, in Indonesia, I think medicalization is uh, very dominant. So, um, the most popular health worker is doctor. And maybe they just know about midwife is uh, who person to assist the delivery. They, know, they didn't know what midwife it is, is like. Um, and maybe because uh, most of us, or most of midwife Indonesia is uh, women, uh, so <laughs> sometimes we have a alternate. So um, yes, uh, I think that the prior uh, problem is that medicalization is uh, very very dominant in here. Mm. Has anyone, if anyone else has any experiences to share, um, pop them in the chat. Um, I've also got another question here for you, um, Istri, asking, what are some of the topics that the girls found most interesting during the program? Um, for this study, uh, we can see that uh, I think of uh, my, um, all the topic is interest for the girls or for little midwife because uh, we can see the participation during in class in workshop and sympathetic action. Uh, no one uh, of them um, given negative or doesn't enthusiast. I think uh, because 
they uh, can discuss with uh, our students and also make a creative. So I think uh, both two topics, uh, there are healthy pregnancy and uh, breastfeeding is an uh, interesting topic for the girls and because we all, uh, our, our students um, say with uh, approach, uh, it's like a yeah, kid approach, uh, not uh, like a lecture in a campus, but it's very funny and uh, very simple to easy to understand for young girls. Mm, wonderful. Um, we've got um, someone um, uh, with their hand raised here, so I'll, I'll just pop you on the microphone and welcome to the call, um, Andrea. Um, let's see. Oh, uh, uh, can you, you should be able to speak now, um, Andrea? Maybe? Uh, you might need to um, enable your audio settings to speak. I think you've got to activate the microphone, Andrea. I have. If you go up to uh, okay. So I've enabled, I've enabled the microphone. Andrea might have to activate it. You've got to press on the icon at the top tab and make sure the microphone is green and then you, it activates it, Andrea. Yeah, Okay, so um, is anybody else got any questions that they could pop in the text box? So I see that um, that Olga's typing. Um, yeah, uh, I think it's very important to uh, lecturer or teacher, midway midway with teacher, uh, because uh, our students have a survive to some students in first years that uh, when they ask uh, about the motivation to study midwifery, um, they say that 40% um, 40, 40 um, they go to, uh, come, uh, to study midwifery um, just to make parents happy. It's not uh, true from uh, their feeling or their ambitions because uh, at first they not the ambition to be to be a midwife. So it's important to teacher when they have a coming to midwifery program uh, to ensure the patient to ensure the motivation to study midwifery. Mm, yeah. Um, so Olga's just saying here that promotion of midwifery would be greatly improved by the support of the medical community. Lack of acknowledgement of the value of midwives as respected professional is a barrier to many. Did you want to talk to that at all, Stu? And yeah. uh, any other questions or comments? Yes, uh, uh, it has to promote uh, that midwife is a provision given effective care in mother and child uh, rather than a medical uh, care. So it's a challenge to us um, to ensure, to convince the community, the mother, families, and uh, particularly for midwife that uh, uh, actually we have found that midwife is, uh, tend to medicalization action so uh, it's, it's like a 
humble for us to think about how to improve, how to promote uh, midwifery to uh, good service in our community. Maybe um, build uh, or make a peer, uh, a peer, uh, what is it, peer, peer study uh, between midwife and midwife and, and um, uh, the activity like with the community midwife is a simple way when a student midwife um, study with uh, the young girls or teenagers and uh, the younger or teenager is uh, interested to study midwife and then they can share what is uh, midwife. I think it's a good idea to improve and we have a plan to continue uh, this activity in every year uh, because we have a um, if we have a, a community laboratory that um, every year our students do an activity in this village. I just wanted to make a comment, Istri. Um, you made some really interesting points about midwifery being um, really a, a primary health care with the, the family and the woman and the baby. But the idea of um, you know, high-tech hospital is very romantic to a lot of midwives and sometimes we've had young people turn up who can't wait to wear the scrubs and the um, uh, stethoscope around their neck like they see on TV like um, happens in you know a, a big acute hospital so I think that's interesting that that is such a romantic idea that some people really want to have that medicalized um, view of themselves when um, we try to promote midwifery as not being centered in the hospital but more as a primary health intervention which may be not um, so much you know romantic and attractive to young people yes that's right and uh, uh, the people uh, sometimes think that medical medical or when they go to hospital, um, it's more more um, better than they uh, do at the primary health care uh, because they think that at hospital is uh, modern equipment, but it's not true, I think. And uh, from this study, uh, I think that we have to concern about the community. Uh, how we can approach uh, to the community. One of uh, the way is that we have done to um, the, to uh, create a project, uh, create an activity uh, that involves the community. At least uh, they can join with our program. Uh, Sometimes uh, like header, header group, and we can um, improve what we can do to uh, scale up the maternal and heart health in the, com in the village. Yeah, and that community empowerment is uh, one of uh, important things that we have to think about that uh, community also make uh, something like um, what is it? Um, maybe something the community will give us uh, protect from some uh, uh, protect that midwife face a uh, problem. For example, when midwife understand. Uh, the need of the community and they can plan in the community activity and, and the community uh, accept the midwife so um, it became a cultural safety I think and uh, what we have done to uh, approach with uh, 
element uh, with a part of community. Uh, there is uh, teenagers in the community. It's so an effective uh, method to uh, introduce a midwife, uh, import, the importance of midwives.